What's going on everybody? My name's Anthony from Unconventional Aquatics and today we're gonna to be talking all about wave makers, specifically why I utilize wave makers, the benefits they provide me, and maybe the benefits that they could provide you as well. So hopefully I'll answer a lot of your questions that you may have if you're looking into wave makers and um, let's get this thing started. So if you're unfamiliar as to what a wave maker or a power head is, essentially they are used to provide flow and different flow patterns with inside your aquarium. You'll commonly see them used in saltwater reef tanks um, as they are an essential piece of gear for those systems. But they are also very commonly used in freshwater. You'll see them used a lot when it comes to African cichlids. Now I use a wave maker for three things, but I do get some extra benefits. I use it for surface agitation to create an oxygen rich environment, circulation within my tank so debris can't settle, and skimming of my substrate to pick up any debris that does settle and take it into my filter intakes. Some added benefits though with African cichlids, fish that are known for their aggressive behavior when I can create a higher flow within my aquarium, my fish have to focus more on swimming rather than attacking each other. At least that's the theory, um, and it definitely does seem to help. So this particular wave maker I'm holding is a Sun Sun JVP Model 110. You can find them all over Amazon, uh, CLL, Pet Supplies, Chewy.com, everywhere. Um, and they're very cheap, and they do the job for basic flow within your aquarium. Now, depending on the size and length of your aquarium, is gonna depend on what kind of wave maker you need, but these are great wave makers for the money saving uh, fish keeper or for, um, you know, just starting with wave maker. I have a ton of these wave makers throughout my aquariums. This same exact wave maker is actually in this aquarium right here next to this big sheet of algae that I'm actually growing on purpose. I'll explain why in a different video, um, but it is right here. It's just below the surface of the water, only about a half an inch, um, and it's angled at just under a 45 degree angle, which is giving me nice surface agitation. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. It's giving a little bit of glare from my lights up top up here, but it gives me very nice surface agitation. Now this Sun Sun JVP 110 pushes 528 gallons per hour, which does great for the surface agitation, but it does lack a little bit in creating my overall circulation pattern. When I say circulation pattern, I go for what's commonly referred to as a racetrack pattern, which is a very basic setup of circulation within your aquarium. Picture an oval on your front glass, and that's essentially what we are going for. Now, since my wave maker does lack a little bit in that department of completing that cycle, I utilize my filter outputs to help complete that cycle, which gives me a nice circulation pattern within this aquarium. Now, depending on your aquarium, depending on what kind of fish you keep and what filtration you're using, you may not ever even need a wave maker. If you're running extremely high output filters such as FX6s, the big Eheim Classics, whatever it may be, you may not even need a wave maker. Your filter outputs might be strong enough on its own to create a nice flow. Now, how do you know if your fish can withstand the use of a wave maker? Well, do your research on the type of fish you keep. Um, for African cichlids, I've kept Mbuna peacocks and haps, and I've used a wave maker in every single African cichlid tank that I've ever had, except for like hospital quarantine cysts. But do your research and see if your fish can handle a nice flow because there is a lot of benefits to utilizing wave makers. So they have basic wave makers that just pump at one speed constantly. Then depending on your budget, you can get some stuff that have remotes where you can adjust the speeds, you can adjust the patterns and do a whole bunch of crazy stuff with it. And how do you find out what size wave maker you need for what tank? Well, I've kind of came up with my opinions just based off trial and error in the past. As I said before, this is a three foot aquarium. It's a 40 gallon breeder. Um, and this 538 gallon per hour wave maker does provide the surface agitation, but does not provide the overall circulation that I like. So I have to use my filter output to kind of help complete that cycle. So that may be something you have to do if you buy something that's maybe undersized for your aquarium. But for instance, like my six foot 125, I prefer to use wave makers up in the 800 to 1000 gallon per hour range um, to give me my surface agitation all the way across. It's hard to complete the overall circulation pattern in an aquarium of that size. So I have to use multiple wave makers um, at different areas. If you have bigger tanks and you do need help with where to position them, you can contact me on conventionalaquatics at gmail.com in the comments or whatever. Um, I can draw you a diagram of some basic ways to set up your wave makers um, and go about it that way and fine tune it to your preference to see how you like it. 
So before you implement them, definitely do the research on your fish. You know, for a three foot ish tank with African cichlids, anything five to 700 gallons per hour is gonna be fine in an aquarium like this. Um, use common sense though. If you implement a wave maker and it looks like your fish are struggling for their lives to stay where they're at, you probably have too much flow. Another good indicator of maybe too much flow is if your substrate starts pulling back on the opposite side of your aquarium to glass. But do realize that if you've never used a wave maker, when you do implement one, your fish are not gonna swim, I don't wanna say as freely, but it's, they're definitely gonna be working a little bit more to swim and that's perfectly normal. So guys, to wrap this up, I use wave makers for three different things. Surface agitation, circulation, and the skimming of my surface, but I do, um, it does improve my overall water quality, which is probably the simple most important thing to a successful aquarium. And for me with my African cichlids, I believe it helps cut down on my aggression just a little bit. Um, that is how I utilize them, that is why I utilize them. If you have any questions on wave makers, if you need help picking out a size, where to position them um, based on how many filters you have, or what kind of filters you run, feel free to um, contact me. I can draw up some diagrams to maybe help you out a little bit. So I thank you for taking time to watch this video and I'll see you on the next one.